Hey everybody, it has been two long freaking weeks. Um, uh, since I've been on YouTube, but it's me, Kiki. I'm back. I'm driving, of course, always driving because I'm driving home. So, what's been up? Anyway, let me go into my spiel. I am Kiki. I live in a great, wonderful city of Dallas, Texas. Um, I am the founder, CEO, creator of Falling Star Naturals, which I do personal care products, jewelry. Um, that's about it right now. We got a Christmas special, seasonal special, 50% off. I will leave links below. I also am on Falling Star Naturals Media on Instagram. So you can catch me on there, catch me outside. How about that? She gonna get mad because I said that. Anyway, what else? Uh, I'm also on Facebook, which is underneath Falling Star Naturals. It's my business page, my business account. And um, I give commentary, opinions, pop culture, politics, and all of the above. All of the above. Anyway, um, so what are we going to talk about today? I'm going to do several videos to tickle y'all fancy. First of all, uh, this video is going to be about, what are we talking about today? What, what? Dun, 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 Because <laughs> you know I'm always talking ish. Um, we're going to be talking about, we're going to do some shop talk. Shop talk. Shop talk. What I mean, shop talk. Uh, we're going to do Etsy talk. Um, I've been meaning to do this video like forever and ever and ever. I'm not going to go stay long, but we're going to talk about Etsy. Okay. I'm in the middle of 5 o'clock traffic, so do forgive me, please. Please forgive me. Okay. Anyway. So, we're going to talk about Etsy. I have a store on Etsy. Like I said, I will leave, leave it a links. I don't, know, I don't know what that noise was. Um, but I have a shop on Etsy. And I've had a shop on Etsy since... Whoa, bright, bright, let the sun shine in. The sun shine in. Anyway, um, I have an Etsy store. And I've had it since mid-July. I really didn't get serious until like the beginning of August. It's been a learning curve. I've never owned a business before. I've never run a business before. So I decided to run a business just because I am a creative kind of person. And I just it's an outlet and expression. I do work a regular job. Uh, let me say that I work full time and I go to school full time. And I have two children under the age of 10. So I am very, very busy. So we're going to talk about Etsy. There's, when I started, they were, they were just changing the system. They were changing the algorithm. They were adding free shipping. They changed the ads. So I didn't, I didn't know how it was before. But, you know, if you go online, there's a lot of grumblings about Etsy, about the ads, about the free shipping. I personally don't have a problem with the free shipping because I am an Amazon shopper. So to me... I, you know, free shipping is like a mandate. I've said this before that um, I, I, free shipping is, 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 is where it's at. You know, I don't like to shop unless I have free shipping. So, there you go. I'm spoiled by Amazon. I know that not every company can be Amazon. I know the other old timers have started with Etsy and they're upset about that because they're like a lot of people's products free shipping is not really economical and you have the option to opt out of it um so you do have that option to not go to free shipping but then there was some rumor going around that like if you did do free shipping Etsy would push your products ahead and it's it's you got to spend at least $35 that they would push your anyway they would push your products ahead uh on the search list so, I don't know. And then I'm being told that that's not true any longer. Or they stopped that. Or it wasn't true in the beginning. I don't know. There's a lot of hearsay rumors. Um, 
a lot of things that are out there on these forums and these Facebook groups that I don't, people are just hearing it from somebody else and hearing from somebody else, like telephone and then things get changed. I, you know, I, I don't really know. So I don't really know if that's true or not. Um, regarding the SEO, which is a search engine optimization. Um, I have my own theories about the SEO algorithm. First of all, in order for your products to come up, you have to put in keyword tags whenever you're setting up a listing in Etsy. So those keyword tags apparently help the algorithm to find your products whenever they do an Etsy search or Google search because uh, Etsy plugs into Google ads and I don't have any opinion either way about Google ads. Again, this is all new to me, so I'm a newbie. Um, but to me, the S people's like SEO, 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 SEO. I get it. You know, like that is, that is very important, but like there's other things that go into the algorithm. Um, it depends on how many people are actually searching for your keyword tags. Depends on what product you sell. It depends on how many sales you have, how many reviews you have, how long your shop has been around. Uh, are you steadily getting sales? Um, apparently, from what I've heard, the more sales you get, the more Etsy pushes you in their algorithm, which doesn't quite seem quite fair to the people who have new shops who are trying to get started because, you know, I think pretty much you end up having to drive your own traffic, but, but you know, we're just talking about the algorithm. I think that in the SEO is part of it as well. I, but I honestly think it's a trap game. Like, I really don't feel like if you purchase these, these Etsy ads, like, it's really going to make any difference one way or another. I mean, it does make a difference in the grand scheme of things because the more money you spend, the more ads. But I, I really think that the SEO thing, and yeah, there's Marmalade and E-Rank that will help you with that. But I really honestly think that the SEO is not as important as everybody really thinks it is. I mean, the keyword, it is important, but I think that you can have the best pictures in the world, the best tags, the best keywords. I think you can have all of that wonderful, beautiful, beautiful stuff and the best product in the world. But honestly, if, if nobody is searching for your product, if it's so niche that nobody's searching for it, no one's going to buy your shit. Um, if, if if you have a shop in an oversaturated market, no one's going to buy your shit. Like, I don't care what the, the SEO says. And then I was heard it takes 30 days for the algorithm to pick up. Then 60 days. Then 90 days. I, I don't know what... I Then a couple of days. I don't know what to believe in none of that. And again, nobody has any hard, solid, third-party proof of how... Uh, Etsy does his algorithm. I think people are just grasping for straws and just pulling out information that may be outdated or old or doesn't apply anymore because Etsy has changed their algorithm <laughs> a few times. So uh, I just don't think, I just think people really don't know. I think, or that the information is incorrect or just old. Um, so I don't think, I think SEO is important, but the idea that people are tweaking their listings and tweaking their shop and making sure the tags match the description and make sure the tags are matching the title and then no no the tags can't match the title i've heard it both ways again i think people should just do what works for them and then again there's a lot of advice and I, you know some of the advice is good but again it depends on what you sell there are certain things that sell better on etsy than other things you know there are certain markets that are overly, overly saturated, and it takes a minute for you to get noticed, for you, to, for your product to get recognized, or you have to go on other websites, social media, trade shows, flyers, whatever, to push traffic to your shop. And honestly, when I signed up with Etsy, I thought that's what you were supposed to do. I thought that you were supposed to drive uh, traffic to your shop. I really saw Etsy as just a way, a website where you don't have to start your own buy your own domain and have a web developer set up all the stuff and set up your payment that the, all that stuff is built in that's the reason why I got an Etsy besides me being a shopper I was an avid Etsy shopper but 
again to me like I, I as an Etsy shopper I chose that because I know it was specifically for handcrafted stuff so yeah I got into that but I honestly really didn't put too much stock into okay I gotta buy Etsy ads and that's gonna just drive all my traffic I I, I got into it feeling like okay no nobody's gonna know what I'm selling or my store of course I'm gonna have to put it on social media of course, of course I'm gonna have to advertise outside and spend money I mean I went into the mindset of already knowing that I was gonna have to spend ad revenue um, outside of Etsy and I and I think that some people weren't prepared for that or some people are, are I, I haven't been doing that I, I don't know I, I just don't know how people can make a successful business unless you really push your product no matter whether it's your own website or it's Etsy or Shopify or a pattern whatever I just think that like it's just a given that you have to do some sort of legwork or you're really not going to be successful unless your item is so niche and so unique and that that it's really on and popping because you know like with anything in business they're trends and so um you, you have to look on to see what's on trend and then also realize that that most markets on Etsy are oversaturated so again I I got into it feeling all this and I just see a lot of disgruntled rumblings um online and you know I just find it weird like I'm just like okay like people really mad people really big mad about that I'm like you big mad and so yeah I just I don't know I don't know I just to me it was a given it's just, I, like I said maybe I'm saying it through new eyes and I, I have mad respect to the people that's been doing this shit for years but you know business changed the thing with Amazon and the free shipping I saw that coming a long time ago because to be honest with you, we're a lot of us Amazon shoppers, we're loyal, dedicated Amazon shoppers because we get it in two days and we get free shipping. And, we, and I know it's not quote unquote free, that the prices are, it's probably added into the overall price. But to be honest with you, I, Amazon, I find shit on Amazon cheaper than I would in a retail store. Um cheaper than any brick brick or mortar sometimes or I find unique things that I can't find really any other place and so I uh, yeah I know I can get it quickly um so yeah I love Amazon like that's you know I don't I don't see a really big conflict I know Amazon has their own like handmade thing which if you make if your health and beauty your cosmetics you can't really be on there because they have all these rules and stipulations and that's fine because I would love to sell on there but Everything has to be labeled. Everything has to be tested, and it's just crazy. So, I, I, no, we're not doing that. So, yeah. So, I, I just like to say that, you know, I, I just think with the SEO and the thing, I just think that nobody really knows. Everybody's kind of grasping at straws. The other thing, the other, <laughs> the other issue, I would say, being uh, Etsy seller, besides trying to drive your own traffic. And I'm like I said, I'm in a highly saturated market. Um, hmm, what would I say? I, I I have 35 sales, so apparently I'm doing okay. Because there are some people I know that have been on Etsy for over a year that only have like 10 sales or five sales. But again, I spend money to drive my truck. But then, but then again, this, Etsy's not my main source of income. My job is. So yeah, I get it. You know, I get it. Some people. I don't think anyone should be leaving their job quite yet unless you have a, uh, an established, stable shop and you're really making some good-ass money. It's better than what your job is making. But I don't think anybody should get into to being an Etsy seller thinking that they're going to make money off the bat. Or it's just, you know, I don't think anybody should open any business thinking they're going to make money off the bat. I work hard um, at promoting my business. Um, I've all, I always think that I could do more, but, you know, I'm... I'm constrained with time. I do have, like I said, a regular job and a regular life. But I do a lot on social media, a lot online. And um, so far, I, I just don't have an issue with the free shipping. A lot of my items are under $35. So a lot of my customers will buy multiple items to get to that $35. Now, it's really hard when it comes to shipping soaps and body scrubs and stuff that are heavy. But I try to fold that into my cost. I try to, and then I set my own shipping rates. I don't let Etsy calculate those. 
so you know it's it's like I said it's it's a it's a work in progress it's always I'm always tweaking things in my shop I'm always trying to do better um again my shop is like my baby like you have to cultivate your baby you have to feed it and watch it grow and you know and then I, I'm always surprised when people order from me I, I'm happy and I'm grateful but I'm always surprised <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of West Coast customers. Shout out to all my West Coast customers. Um, I don't know for some reason the West Coast loves me. I don't. I don't. I, I get a lot of customers in California and Nevada. I don't. I don't know what's going on there, but I guess maybe I need to start marketing more to there. But I don't get too many customers in Texas or the South. A lot of my customers are either in New York, Idaho, Jersey, or the West Coast. So that's what's going on. Um, I recently revamped my logo. I'm just trying, you know, just trying to do better. I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to be more judicious with my money. Because if I see something and I get a burr up my ass and I'm like, ooh, I want to make that. I want to buy that. Right now we're making keychains. So keychains is the next thing. I got to go home and make keychains. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to not burn myself out. Um, I know Black Friday is coming up. I... Like I said, this is my first year. I don't know how things are going to be. We'll see. <laughs> With Black Friday, I don't know how things are going to be. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be busier. Right now, I'm averaging about one or two orders a week, which is not too bad. Um, I average about five orders a month, which is nothing where I, I want to be at, but again like starting out uh, um, 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 baby steps baby steps I realized that you know it's just gonna take time so anyway that's my video um, like subscribe share um, I had to put this video out for the, all the, the, the Etsy users and do a little shop talk and just give you my experience of what's going on with my business like I said I'm adding new things all the time doing keychains I have rings added rings but you can find me at etsy.com all star naturals so like i said i'll leave links and all that below so peace and hair grease you gotta have a good evening i'll be doing more videos so yeah yeah